In this snip, we're going to look at tags in Azure, how to apply them and why they're useful. So here in the Azure console, if we look at our virtual machines and drill down into the settings of those, we'll notice on the left hand side there's a tags option here. If you click on that, you'll see two freeform boxes which allows us to apply tags. So if I just create one called billing, click on save, and create another one called department, and click on save. And if we go back to our virtual machines, and apply some tags to the second virtual machine here. Go into tags. We'll notice if we click the drop down here, we've already created these tags so they appear in the list for us. So on this one, I'm going to go with billing and I'm going to select company one, but actually, I want this to be company two. So I edit it, click on save, and do the same for department. Go into that and add in the sales department. And then click on save. And if we go back to our list of virtual machines, we we'll notice we've got an edit columns section at the top here. If we click on that, we should be able to scroll down and add in a tags column. Add that in, click on apply. We have a column on the right hand side here that shows us the tags we've got. And if we scroll over that, we'll see the tool tips will come up and show us the tags. We can also go in here and edit the tags. So here I want to change finance to IT say and then click on save. And then click on this other one and change this one from sales to finance. And click on save. Another way of discovering the tags is we go up to the search box here at the top and type in tags. It will show us a tags section under services here. If we click on that, it will show us a list of all of our tags. And then if we click on the tag itself, it will show us all of the resources under that tag that have been tagged. So we've got test VM02 there. And if we go into IT, we've got test VM01. Another way of doing this is if we go to all resources, we'll notice that we've got a load of resources here against test VM01, but only one of them is tagged. So if we select all of these resources against test VM01, we can go to assign tags at the top. Click on the tag that we want to assign, so billing and company one, and click assign at the bottom. Now after a couple of seconds, all of those resources will be assigned with that tag. So if we go back up to the search box, click on tags, find company one, we'll see that all those resources are allocated under company one. Now another way of applying tags and looking at tags is in PowerShell, of course. So the first thing we'll need to do is to import the Azure RM module, if you haven't done already, and connect to your Azure account. So in order to get uh, tags, we use the command get Azure RM tag. If we run this line here, we'll see that it lists out all of the tags and the values against them that we've currently got allocated. However, if we want to search for VMs with the tag, say company one against them, we run that. It will show us, sure enough, test VM01 is allocated against company one. So in order to tag a VM in PowerShell, first thing we need to do is get the details of the Azure RM VM. So we'll do that and put that into a variable called VM. So if we look at that variable, got all the details of the virtual machine here, and it will show us that this test VM03 has no tags against it. So in order to apply a tag, we need to use the set Azure RM resource commandlet and feed it all the details of the VM, i.e. the resource group name, the resource type, the resource name, and use the slash tag switch at the end and add a hash table with tag and the value that we want to add. 
So if we run this, we'll see that it should add billing company three against this virtual machine. So if we go back to the Azure console and select our virtual machines, go into VMO3 and tags, we'll see that it's got billing company three tagged against it. However, if we want to tag all the resources allocated against the virtual machine, say the disk and the public IP address, etc., we need to use get Azure RM resource with that resource name and that VM name and pipe that into set Azure RM resource as we did before. However, in this example, we're applying two tags, a company and a department. So if we run this, so if we go back to the Azure console, go into all resources and search for test VM03, we'll see that all of these resources have got the company of techsnips.io and a department of training against them. Or another way to prove that is to go to the tags section, click on the techsnips.io company tag, and you'll see all those resources. However, the downside of this command is that it overwrites all of the tags against the virtual machine. So even if it had 20 or 30 tags against it, you would overwrite it with these two and all the others would be deleted. So in order to add tags, we need to gather the resource details into a variable called resource. So we run that. Use the add syntax here in order to add the tag to that resource. And then use set as your RM resource in order to set that tag against the machine. And if we go back to the Azure console again, we should see that under our virtual machine, test VMO3, we now have all the existing tags that it had, like company techsnips.io, plus has the status of approved against it. And that was a short introduction in how to use tags in Azure.